is July, which I cannot believe it is July. It literally, this year is oh, like halfway over. Like, I, I literally can't believe it. Like, Christmas just left. And it's creeping me out because the older I get, the more time flies. And it's just, it's really starting to get to me. But I do have another month of fabulous favorites, things that I've been loving. I've tried out quite a bit of things this past month for the month of June. And I just want to share them with you. So the very first thing that is like my holy grail thing that I've turned my sister on to. And usually she doesn't listen to me about beauty advice. But this thing she took down and she said it has changed her skin and has saved her so much money. And it is the Pampers Sensitive Baby Wipes. So I'll just go ahead and try it. Just see. I mean it was like $3 for a pack with 52 in there. And the sense the simply ones are the simple are like six bucks if you get them at like drugstores they're four bucks if you get them at target but um there you only get like 25 out of there i was like you get more than double in here so i'm gonna try it out and i have been so obsessed this is my second pack this month and i haven't only been using it for my face i'll use if i wear thick makeup like i did today because i went to work i need two wipes and it gets it completely off and it's just amazing it doesn't over dry my skin if i'm just wearing like the other products i'm about to show you my uh, more sheer foundations just one wipe it off i don't even have to wash my face like it gets everything out and i've been using it to wipe my hands just to wipe up throughout the day because it's so hot and humid here and it's just really great and also days when I'm not wearing any makeup I break out because there's so much oil that gets in my skin and so using these throughout the day like has done so much for my skin. I only have one breakout. I don't know if you can see it. it's one cystic breakout right there and it's just so exciting. I just love it. It's so cheap. Go try this out. I'm going to quit talking about it but this stuff is amazing and I'm just really excited and it comes with cute little packaging. I just love the little giraffe and that's so cute. Okay, the next thing is, which I've talked to you about, the Josie Moran um, Pure Argon, Argon Oil Light, but I'm also, I've am i decided to try out this month um, the Fresh Sea Berry Moisturizing Face Oil. It has omega-3, 6, 7, and 9, 100% moisture with a sea buckthorn oil. And I've been all about the Argon Oils, and I've loved this so much, but I felt like I wanted to try something new, so I went and got the baby one just in case something happened with this one. And this one's very light, so this is perfect in the morning. I do two drops now. I used to do four during the winter time. Love this still. Still a favorite, but that's not what this is about. This is about this stuff. All you need is two drops for a very deep moisturizing um, layer over your skin. With the Argan Oil Light, if I use that at night, I would do like six drops for my skin. And this, all I need is two. It goes so far. Using these two has really made a huge difference and I got both these at Sephora and the Pampers Big Wipes I got mine at Rite Aid and the next thing I've been loving which I've had this for a while and I just never did anything with it is the Loctane in Province it's the moisturizing lip balm 10% shea butter I actually need some right now and this I use as a night treatment and I put it on before I put on my makeup just to give it a nice wash of like moisture and I don't like the taste of it because it tastes like a really cheap lip balm like if you remember back in the day when you buy like the cheapest lip gloss or lipstick from the drugstore that's the taste that it has in which I don't like at all but it is so moisturizing and my my lips crack more during the summer because the sun gets on it more than it does in the winter time and this has really helped a lot and I got this in Sephora too in like a little bitty kit of all their little things and this is really the only thing that stuck with me that I really really liked so I love that. I use that every morning and night. And then another thing is the Sashwan Stockholm Body Lotion. It's in shiny citrus. And it, oh my gosh, like I've used that much of it. And I've been trying to use it sparingly because I don't run or want to run out of it. So every other shave, because um, I only moisturize my skin whenever I shave or if my skin's like really dry, which rarely happens. But I got this out of the Pop Sugar Select Box, which was so fun. That was another favorite. That I'm part of the Pop Sugar um blogging network which is amazing and so fabulous in the fashion section as well and it just makes me so happy so they sent me a must-have pop sugar box which i've been wanting forever and that was another favorite last month is that i got that and i was just so excited and this came in it and this was probably my favorite thing in the box it just smells so luxurious i keep it by my sink but also just because it looks pretty it's a pretty bottle but i use it to put on my arms and legs after i get out of the shower after i've shaven and I just like it. It's just such a simple, beautiful bottle, and it's just really nice. It absorbs in your skin. It's not greasy. It's perfect for summer. This is literally the perfect um, 
what do you call it? Lotion for the summer months. So definitely go check that out. Um, and then also in the skin, I tried two new foundations this weekend. And I do this because the first one is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Clearing Perfector. And I did a first impression on this one. I did a first impression on this first impression on the other one but this one I absolutely love for days when I am not working I need to be in the house get stuff done maybe I have to run to Lowe's to get some supplies or maybe I have to go um, run a few errands but not like I'm doing anything beauty related if I'm doing, going to the drugstore I kind of like to look a little bit more put together like I know what I'm talking about but this is so great because I feel like this has helped my skin too so I'm not just like going around with oily dirt all in my skin this kind of acts as a protective layer and it also has a little bit of acne treatment in there now this is very sheer coverage but it's light to medium sheer tint and it has two percent salicylic acid acne treatment and that's what works best for my skin if your skin is a lot better with benzoyl peroxide um stay with those products because that's what's going to work for you but for my skin i need salicylic acid so it's very nice very creamy and affordable and i love that's in a squeeze tube and the next one also is in a squeeze tube and it makes me so happy I'm obsessed with this one. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. And I'm in 115 and it's in the squeeze tube also. I love this stuff so much. It's 115 is buff beige by the way. And so I'll do, if I'm only going to be at work for like five hours, it's one of those random days where I'm not there that often, I'll put this on because it doesn't last that long. Um, it gives me enough coverage where I can put concealer on it and it'll look nice and beautiful and it's just I love this stuff so much. It's so great. I put it on with my fingers as well as this one. These go on so well with the fingers. I apply this one like lotion. This one I do like foundation. But anyways, right now I'm using the Revlon Color Stay because I was there for a very long time. These are so good. Go check them out if you have oily skin. These are really nice. You do have to set both of these just because they're not that full coverage and you want them to last. So the Voluminous Miss Manga. Now I've been obsessed with this. It's not waterproof. But this stuff stays on. It doesn't flake. It really gives length to your lashes. Now, love, love, love the formula. However, I hate the applicator. I mean, it's that one that, like, bends like this. And it just aggravates me because I'll get in there and I'll bring it up and I'll flick and I'll hit my brow bone and, like, get it all up there. I'll try to get in and be safe and then I'll, like, flick down here. And every single day, I get, like, a big black mascara mark right here and I have to redo my concealer there. It's so frustrating, but it's such an amazing brush and formula that I keep using it, but I hate the little bendy thing. I just, it's too bendy. It needs a little bit more give because, like, whenever I get in there, I like to get in my lashes, and they're so thick that they, like, tug on it. And so I'm pulling, and then it flings, and it's just it's horrible. But the formula and brush is amazing. I love that. And the last beauty item is this Goody Tangle thingy i don't know i hauled it a month ago and i told you guys i tried out and see how i liked it when i first started using it because my hair is so thick it takes a while to get through there it's not just like brush it fresh brush it fresh it's like layers i have to like get in there and do it and it works really nicely for that it doesn't not pull out my hair but i feel like i get the tangles out better i have better control of the brush this way and i really like it i use it on wet hair i use it on dry hair and it's really nice and it's not that expensive and i got mine at Walgreens so definitely go check it out it's pretty cool like you see like there's long bristles and there's short little grooves and I don't know it's really nice and I got the blue one so it's really pretty so that is all of my beauty favorites so now time for my fashion favorites I've been obsessed with kimonos and this one right here is by what were you by paper crane it's just super pretty and flowy absolutely love it and it's just really nice and comfortable and this is actually what I wore to work today I'll do a full outfit of the day um because I'm doing like every day of the week I'll whatever you know my outfit of the week thing anywho so I love those and then another thing that I've been obsessed with which I had on today are these shoes I got them for ten dollars at JCPenney guys um last month and they're by Arizona EAN they're so comfortable. I've gotten so many compliments on these. So definitely go check out JCPenney. I've gotten so many great shoes there. They're actually $20. And I was like, like on already discounted. I was like, I'm getting those. That's so cheap. Got at the register. The chick goes, hold on. Hold the phone. It's $9.99 for these shoes. I was like, what? I was so excited. So I got those. And also I've been loving these jeans, which it's really hard for me to match uh, or to like find jeans that fit me well because 
I have a larger waist, but I have like twig legs. It's like a very weird combination, but I love these by Flying Monkey. These are actually kind of big. I kind of need to wash them. They've already kind of like stretched out, but they're just a really beautiful dark wash. They're long enough where I can cuff them this high. And um, yeah, I just really like it. They hug my booty perfectly. Usually jeans like get so loose around my butt area. And I've worn these like maybe 20 times. I probably wear them like almost every day. Um, this past month so they're really comfortable I really like them if I can find them online I will link them down below because I got this kimono and these jeans from this small boutique so if I can find them online I will for you guys but yeah so I hope you all oh last favorite has been my house I'm about to do a house tour expect that to be up on Thursday I'm just so excited <sighs> we finished in a month's time we finished completely uh, redid the living room we decorated um painted everything the kitchen we completely remodeled it it's just <sighs> been crazy not everything is 100 percent done but i do want to show you the progress that we've made and i do want to show you guys the house i'll do like a first and informal one just like going through the entire house and then i'll do like individual ones like what's in my living room what's in my kitchen what's in my bedroom what's in my bathroom type thing in time but it has been a very long, crazy road. If you watch my daily vlogs, you know, which I'm starting to get back on that track. I've been so busy with the house and with everything else that I haven't been uploading like I should. So after I edit this and upload it, I'm gonna start editing and upload those videos. I'm off tomorrow. Got plans to do this, guys, but I love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe if you like this video and also give it a thumbs up. If you want to share on your social media channels, definitely do so. And also right now I have a giveaway going on um it's a secret giveaway but i do want to let you guys know not many people have entered yet since it is secret um yeah i'm doing a credit to just fab down on my previous videos like a just fab haul click on that go in the description box and it says like how to enter into it and i'll be over within the week so yeah guys i love you all very very much and i'll see y'all thursday bye i just moved the rest of the crap from our old place and i came up to find this beautiful just fab this beautiful just fab box at my doorstep so i wanted to go ahead and open it with you guys 